Just when you think it can't get any suckier in California, it does. It always just leapfrogs the previous level of suck. California County passes law stopping landlords from conducting criminal background checks on their renters. That's right, folks. If you're a landlord in California, it is now illegal to do a criminal background check. Let's discuss. All right, y'all. I don't even know what to say, honestly. This is terrible, man. Oh, gosh. It's really terrible. First of all, if y'all didn't know, uh, being a landlord in California is terrible. It, it, it would be like eating gas station sushi and then like going on like a 14 hour plane ride, right? It's just, it's a no gooder, man. They, they really hate landlords out there, right? You got the liberals, the progressives, the wokies. They're very, very, very anti-landlord, right? They're, they're anti-America and they're also anti-capitalism, right? And they're going out there and they're selling your private property rights uh, in exchange for votes. And when that happens, you get stuff like this, right? This particular county, Almeda County. Now, if none of y'all ever heard of Almeda County, that's the Bay Area, right? San Francisco, you know, the place for when you're trying to walk to the store, you're tripping over fentanyl needles and people pooping on the sidewalk because it's cool, right? Uh, that location, they don't let you do a criminal background check anymore if you're a landlord. I don't understand how there's so many homeless people out there. How are so many people homeless? You can't even do a background check on them. Why don't these people have houses, man? It takes literally nothing to get into a house in California, and then the poor bastard landlords can't even evict you. They can't do anything to prevent putting you in there, and then they can't evict you. Why are y'all pooping on the street? Why y'all living in tents, man? Just go live in some schmuck's freaking house. Go live in some $5 million sandwich. San Francisco house because hey it doesn't matter that you're a homeless fentanyl addict they can't do anything to screen you and then when you don't pay rent because you have no money because again you're a homeless fentanyl addict they can't even evict you really right so I don't get why you're all crapping on the streets but uh, yeah so that's the new law uh, it was a very very close vote okay uh, the East Bay housing organization Right. It was a sort of nothing vote. There wasn't even like one dude who's like, hey, hey y'all sure about this? Like, are we sure about that? Like, not even one guy in the whole thing was like, yo, this might be a bad idea. Not even one cat was like, wait a second. If I have a house and I want to rent it to somebody. Wouldn't them being a convicted murderer be something that I want to know? Nope, not even one guy. Wouldn't them being a convicted fraud, perhaps somebody uh, who has a extensive criminal history uh, of fraud and theft, property damage perhaps, uh, wouldn't that be applicable to me the property owner wouldn't that be something i want to know when i'm conducting a risk assessment or doing my tenant screening perhaps somebody just got out of jail uh on a nice 10-year bit for arson right perhaps they just burned their last landlord's house to the ground wouldn't one guy just one guy be like wouldn't the new landlord want to know if the guy just did 10 years in jail for burning the last landlord's house to the ground? Wouldn't even one guy over there say, hey, wait a second, this makes no sense? Nope, not in California, y'all. In California, they do not care. You might be thinking, bro, this is just for public housing, James. No! The law prohibits landlords in private and public housing from using criminal records when considering prospective tenants. I mean, dude, uh, like at this point, what can, what can you actually do 
right? Because, I mean, of course, we have all the fair housing, right? That's fine. That's par for the course. No issue there. Uh, but then you cannot, um, you can't screen people against uh, how they make their money, right? And you can't screen people against whether or not they're criminals. Like, in California, you literally cannot screen at all. Like, if you own a house in California and I go, yo, I'm going to live in your house, you piece of crap. There's nothing you could do. It's California. You just have to bend over and take it. I guess you literally, if someone demands you give them your home, if it's in California, I think you just have to. There is, like, literally no law that you are uh, that it, there's no law on the side of a property owner in the city of California. The the whole place is is jumped the shark so far, it it is complete. It is out of control. Like we are so beyond the realm, uh, of an American capitalistic state. It's out of control, man. And you know this article I pulled up. By the way, I'll link it in the notes below. You know they go on and on and. Uh, talk about, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff like how it's all good and whatnot, right? Like fair chance housing is a common sense public policy solution. Board of Supervisors President Keith Carson was quoted as saying in a statement to CBS News, common sense. No, I mean, yeah, no, I get it. That's that's totally common sense to me. It is, it, I can't believe there are landlords out there that would consider denying housing to an arsonist who makes his money selling crack to children. What kind of bigoted racist landlord is out there denying arsonists who are making an honest living selling crack to children the housing that they deserve? That is freaking nonsense. It must be the Republicans. I swear to God. Those Republicans are out there just being so freaking racist and bigoted and homophobic, it's out of control. Think about the arsonists, folks. Think about them. They just want a nice, quiet place to lay their head on their pillow after a long, hard day of selling crack to toddlers, okay? This is America. This is California. Those people deserve housing. And you know what? If those evil little bastard crackhead children stop buying their crack from the neighborhood arsonist crack dealer and he could no longer afford to pay rent, that piece of crap racist landlord better not try to evict him because that's wrong. Because in California, if you don't pay your rent, that shouldn't matter because housing is a basic human right. And that evil, bigoted Republican landlord should not try to evict you because you're a good person. You are a good, crack-dealing, racist. No, you're not a racist. The, the landlord's a racist. You're a good, crack-dealing arsonist who's just trying to live an honest living after getting out of jail for burning your old landlord's house down because he was Republican, meaning he was probably racist. He was a rich, white, racist Republican. It's terrible. Not in California. California says, not on my watch. Not on our watch. This is California. If you want to rent a house from some piece of crap landlord, you can. And there ain't nothing. There ain't nothing he can do about it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.